So it's my honor to be honored to be here after Qfield. Uh, we are not competition; we are buddies in open source. So uh, we do a bit slightly different things, as I will show. And what I want to show is that we are really open source platform based on QGIS uh, for data collection. So uh, I will start with a very brief introduction of the platform for those who are new. And then uh, second part will be about new features in last year. And then at the end, I will uh, expand a bit of more like ecosystem, like our team and how we, how we work. Uh, so my name is Peter Petrik. I'm from Czech Republic, and this is my mail. If you if you need to write me anything, um, Lutra Consulting. We work 15 years uh, around QGIS, and we do QGIS core development, uh, support, training, plugin, everything around QGIS, and we are fully dedicated to open source. And uh, a few years ago, we started developing uh, merging maps called uh, Input and Merging at that time. And uh, last two years, uh, it really spins up. Um, so merging maps is uh, basically a, a mobile application and for field collection. Uh, we try to say that uh, it is a no training. So for example, I had a workshop for high um, uh, for, for students at high school, and I prepare them a project. You need someone who knows QGIS very well to prepare a project. But then you share the project with people. It's very easy, one button uh, to synchronize. There is a synchronize button, you can download the project, and then for the application itself, for people outside, they don't need any training, and they don't need to be GIS people. So the application is very easy to use. Uh, also, the synchronization is very easy to set up, so it's easy for your surveyors to, to just go and collect the data. So the first part, the core features. So how it works. Um, uh, so of course, uh, you need to start with QGIS, and you have a plugin. So you need to prepare QGIS project with your layer, like what we are capturing, these points or, or lines, what attributes. And you have, you have a plugin to push your data to cloud. A cloud is this one. Um, the, the cloud uh, we offer as Ultra Consulting cloud subscription, where it's like uh, you pay a monthly uh, subscription and then it's like free to use uh, for your team. Uh, or you can get, get the stuff from GitHub and download it yourself, deploy community version. Then we have some enterprise version with some very advanced features, but uh, generally you can deploy it yourself or use the, our cloud. And uh, then from this point on, it's uh, the mobile application that can be downloaded for iOS, Android, and Windows. And uh, with the application, they have a list of projects, you sign in, you download the project and collect data. Um, so, you can also connect uh, external receivers if you have any. Um, most of the receivers uh, work. Uh, we are building up uh, more better connection for some of them to get some metadata. But generally, XY, uh, we are lo MOG location should work with most of the devices. It's uh, easy to collaborate with your team. So on a web platform in a project, you can set uh, permissions to your team members. Uh, now, I will talk about permissions later, but you can uh, say who can edit the project or who can modify the project, who can read the project. Uh, it does a data versioning. Uh, it's all based on geo packages. And uh, there is an open source library we developed called uh, GeoDiff, um, which uh, can do a different file between two geo packages, and these different files are sent on the server. So uh, it's all based on a file, it's all file based. So that means it's all fully offline. Uh, of course, you can use anything that, uh, that um, where it is, uh, that QGIS offers uh, because you have compiled QGIS on your phone. Uh, the rendering engine is really QGIS core compiled on the phone. The GUI is different. Uh, GUI is uh, built for mobile phones, but the rendering engine is QGIS. So if you have it on QGIS, it's the same styling 
on your mobile. Uh, here we have an example of some uh, forms. So you can work with uh, fo photos. There are some different widgets that can be set up in QGIS. For example, calendar widgets, text widgets, drop down menus, and so on, uh, range widgets. Uh, you can use the powerful QGIS uh, expression engine to do some default values. For example, uh, you can automatically detect who did the change and when, and automatically fill your data. Or when you have the external GNSS device, you can automatically fill some metadata to the form, so you have a precision or accuracy stored in the feature. Uh, you can collect uh, points, lines, polygons. You can style them, uh, style them as you want based on powerful QGIS rendering engine. Um, so you can have background layers of your choice. You can have offline background layers, online background layers. Uh, you can use vector tiles. You can use uh, various um, uh, for like different layers for different capturing. And you can use project settings, QGIS project settings, for, for example, setting up the snapping, setting up uh, the uh, work with photos. We have advanced features for photos, for example, reducing the quality of photos automatically on the form so it doesn't populate our server, or, or selective sync, which uh, means that uh, your photos are not going to the phones of your colleagues in the field, reducing the bandwidth, and so on. And uh, on the server, you can you can see the versions. So uh, there are tools on the server where you can see there are version lists. You can see who did the version, who pushed the changes. You can see what layers were changed, which features were added or notified in each version. You can make various reports through our plugin. So if you are manager, you can do a report like during this week, these people made these changes, these, these areas were modified. Uh, you can connect it to the external GNSS for higher press accuracy. And there is an API on the server which uh, has a multiple like C++ or uh, uh, C++ API, Python API, uh, or REST API. And we developed uh, multiple tools for various clients. I was mentioning some of them in a morning presentation. So for example, there is dbsync. So you can run a script to synchronize your Merging Maps project with your PostGIS database automatically, both directions. There is Media Sync, which uh, can you can grab photos from your Merging Maps project and push them to S3 bucket or Mini IO storage. And uh, there is a Python API, so you can work any any integration you like. Um, okay. Uh, Cool. So uh, that's the, the first broad introduction for, uh, for the plugin. Let's do a new features. So these features are what we did uh, in last, from last host 4G um, um, in the last year. Most of the year we were really doing a new design. Um, it, it looks a bit uh, less demanding uh, as it is but we were really uh, surprised by the amount of work. Um, we kind of, last year we got a new designer, we got a whole application, website, and dashboard, everything redone uh, with the designer. We did a research between users. We tried to do a best user inter interface, the user experience for the users. And uh, we kind of like, drop half of the mobile application and rewriting from scratch based on these new designs and web application too. So now everything uh, has the, the same design. And as I said, um, we really focused very hard on having it very simple for, for users, for end users. So it's not, so it looks like any, any other application you normally use nowadays. Um, where the node training comes. So we are really committed to user friendliness with the application. Uh, then uh, this one is really new. It's uh, launched a few weeks ago, I believe. And it's a new permission. Um, so at the moment, there is possibility to have four permissions. 
and it's both on workspace level, so for whole of your team or for each project separately. Uh, one permission is writer, so the writer can change the project in a QGIS, add a new layer, change the styling. Then you have reader, who can only read the project, not, nothing will change. Then you have this editor permission, which is very new permission if you already use merging maps. I would suggest you to go and change permissions to surveyor or editor permission uh, for your surveyors. Uh, because this one, uh, they, you are allowing, allowing them to only add new photos or new files and edit uh, geo package rows. So they are not able to change the structure of, the, of, your, of your project. So you are not allowing your surveyors to change the structure of the project, add new columns and stuff. It's only for the GIS administrator. Then we have DB Sync. Uh, we have some improvements of DB Sync in a plugin. So now you can easily set up a connection between uh, Postgres and uh, Merging Maps project. You can generate the configuration file for your scripts in a in a plugin. Uh, you can in a plugin reset the changes uh, uh, both to the project and, and various files. Now you can change, uh, you can use stakeout. Uh, stakeout was there uh, even before, we implemented it two years ago. Uh, stakeout uh, bet best works if you have a very good GNSS device, but now you can also modify the, the units. Uh, we implemented a bunch of new widgets uh, for, uh, for QGIS, uh, from the QGIS forms. So now you can use text widgets, spacer and HTML widgets. Uh, you can use, um, you can identify multiple features. So this one is also a new feature. Uh, this one works, oh, okay. Uh, this should be GIFs, but uh, for some reason, uh -huh. Okay, uh, these are all GIFs, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, PDF. Uh, it's PDF because there was also a URL for online, online one. Okay, um, okay, so these are GIFs, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we can after the presentation load the presentation. So if you, uh, it's difficult to explain, but if you, if you. Uh, hold and press on the canvas, it will open you the, the window with multiple features. Uh, it would be really nice to open the, the online, maybe. Maybe after, uh, in the, during the questions. Then you can open a PDF and other package files in the application. And you can also zoom the pictures in the a, in a application. So uh, I will show you the GIFs during the questions, maybe. Uh, so in development, what is our image, what we are working on? Uh, we are currently working on measurement tools in the application, so you will be able to measure distances and areas in the application. Uh, we are already implementing a fused location provider on Android, which is using some advanced, uh, uh, not only uh, GPS, but also sensors and Wi-Fi signals, so it's like way pre more precise on Android, so it's a no new provider. And uh, we are working on, uh, on the web, on the map overviews, there is still in the beta, but our plan is to be able to publish the maps, web maps directly from merging maps, uh, some simple web maps you can share. So there will be also a map element. Uh, now it is mm, already we have an infrastructure set up, so we are building a graphical interface for both internal and, and publishing. So this is coming. So very briefly about ecosystem. Um, so <clears throat> the, ho the whole project, as it is open source, uh, we really like to build the partnerships. So we are building uh, hardware partnerships uh, with, uh, we have five hardware providers that uh, are our partners and more are coming. Um, one of them is Emlet that I have here. Uh, we try to support as many hardware providers as possible. And also we have a service providers. Um, service partners. Uh, some of them are, or, are also here in the Phos4G. Um, and uh, here the service partners are companies in open source world that we trust that uh, they can give you good service if you want to help with the project, set up a project uh, locally. 
we have uh, companies in Poland, uh, Australia, UK, pretty much uh, covering most, uh, not most, but uh, we are building up. So if, if you do open source your company, feel free to approach me. We really like to, to uh, build a partner network. Uh, also, we, we promote the support and training of these partners. So we really want uh, ho the margin maps to become part of the open source ecosystem. Um, these are some interesting links that I, uh, it's very good to, to check. Uh, I will start with the documentation. Uh, we have a technical writer that uh, writes the documentation, only the writing the documentation. Uh, you should be able to go to docs and find pretty much everything you need from the setting of the project till how to connect external GNSs and uh, other stuff. Then we have this status page, uh, which, uh, which shows you the status of the systems. So if there is some problem, something is not responding, you can check the status page. If it is not the maintenance, or if there is a reported incident and we are working on that, or there is nothing going on, so you should, you can like write as a mail, like, look, it's not working, is something wrong. This wish list is one of the most important also here. Um, we, that we want to bring the features that uh, you want as a community and users. So we set up a wish list. So there is a list of features. Everyone can post what he wants to be implemented. And then there is a voting. So we tend to implement uh, stuff that is top of the list. So now, for example, top of the list measurement tools. So we are working on the measurement tools. Uh, so if you want your feature implemented or you want to keep track of what's going on, then uh, best to go to wish list. There is also change log. So every time we do any new feature, we put it in the same, same uh, portal as a change. So you can see all the changes, uh, changes that, that are made and explanation, how to use them, where is documentation and so on. And the, la and the last uh, link is our community. So this is a Slack channel uh, that is open for everyone to join. And right now we have 1,200 people on the Slack channel. Um, and all the discussion is going on there. So if someone has a trouble setting up something, if there is a new feature or we want to announce some maintenance or we are just sharing that, okay, we will be on the conference, everything is on the, on the Slack. So, so feel free to join the channel. Uh, and all the developers are there. So very, very, you can like chat with us. It's not here. But I want to m mention that we have also a newsletter. It's every month, uh, one, one email. Uh, you can subscribe to newsletter. And uh, in newsletter, there is like on which conferences you can talk to us, who are the partners, new partners, uh, what's going like. If, if there is a new feature, there is, for example, video of the uh, new feature or blog post. So newsletter is also good uh, catch up. Uh, for, for what's going on. And we are also on various platforms, uh, social platforms. So, so this is our team uh, of uh, working on mostly on margin maps. Uh, some of them, like we also work uh, Lutra. Like at the moment, uh, half of the company or half the business is margin maps, half the company works on consultancy projects. And, uh, and uh, you, you probably recognize some people from the team uh, from various Cosforge events or other events. Um, mm, yeah, so we have uh, we have guys for support. We have two support people. So if you write us a mail, there's two people to answer your support questions. We have a testers, two testers, product manager, uh, development team for web, development team for mobile. So so as you see, the the project is quite well backed up with uh, with the team. Um, yeah, thank you very much. That was my presentation. Maybe during the question we could send, show these GIFs, but uh, if not, then I'm here in the hall, so feel free to come to me and I will show you those features. Thank you. So, thank you, uh, Peter. Uh, any questions? Hi, 
Uh, you mentioned editor permissions. Uh, is it available for community edition as well? Uh, it, it is at the moment available at uh, cloud and enterprise edition. Mm -hmm. And will it be on community edition? Uh, it, uh, I, uh, we, we implement it at the moment for cloud and uh, enterprise. So in the community edition, you can have a writer, reader, and uh, uh, admin. Yeah, that's no, no, uh, no editor permission at the moment. Uh, any other questions? Hi, thanks. Uh, you mentioned that um, the visualization on the mobile app is exactly as in, in QGIS. Uh, is this also for the web application? Uh, yes, uh, because the web application, it uses QGIS server, oh. which is also the part of the QGIS ecosystem. So it's still the same rendering engine, so you still the same, get the same map. Okay, so it's server-side rendered uh, map visualization. Yeah, yeah it's based on QGIS server, yeah. It's a bit of tricky to, like we have, we are approaching 100,000 users on a, on a public cloud, so it's a bit of tricky to make it work for all the projects, but uh, I think we have most of the infrastructure set up, so now we are building the front end at the moment for it. Okay, thanks. Anybody? Thanks, Peter, for the nice uh, presentation. Maybe one general question. How far are you from the 3D modeling in Merging Map application? 3D? Yes. Um, yeah, I, uh, it's not on the uh, agenda now. Um, at the moment, uh, the whole platform is, is uh, specially designed for uh, field surveys, for vector layers. Um, so for point clouds, it's like completely different data type and completely different uh, volumes of data and everything. So uh, it's not, not on the plan uh, of the project uh, at the moment. J just because it's like completely a different thing to do, uh, different data, different, uh, mm, yeah. It's, it should be different, yeah. Uh, I'll finish with the question. Uh, well, Merging Maps is uh, several years old, so can you remember one data collection project that stood out for you done with Merging Maps? Sir, can you remember? One data collection project with Merging Maps that stood out. Uh, you want me to say one project that was done by Merging Maps? Yeah, that's... Yeah. Stood up, ah, okay. Yeah, I... I um, I had a presentation in the morning about case studies, uh, and uh, all of the case studies that I presented for me, it really it was really uh, amazing for me, like what people can do. Uh, I don't know, like for me, this uh, agriculture project, uh, the agri-motion, or uh, the firefighters in Australia, when I like, heard what they are doing with these open source technologies, is really amazing uh, uh, how they uh, help, um, yeah prevent the fires in bushes. So that one was really, really nice for me. But um, probably any of your project could, could be in uh, my presentation next year because I know many uh, projects, even from people from here, that are really, really amazing. So, so as it is open source, everyone is able to do what, what, uh, what, he, what he needs and it's uh, on creativity, so. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, seems like there are... Okay, one last question. Make it short, please. Yeah, you said that the web app is using QGIS server, and I remember that I saw on Twitter or somewhere, I don't know, Mastodon probably, that you had like a connection with the 3DW, or is that with the G3W suit? Yeah, the, they, are, they are partners, mm -hmm. so they uh, try to connect Merging Map Server with their offering, uh, with this with this uh, web platform. I think they are very successful, so they have some way, uh, they have, uh, they are in hall, so they can like talk to more, but um, uh, yeah, we are at the moment uh, building up the infrastructure, 
and then uh, what is used as the web is a different um, okay. uh, different question but uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah the integration with them it's it's possible and they are doing it very successfully if you want to use yeah i was just curious thank you thank you